Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ron, and today we're going to be discussing the overclocks and kind of showing them out a little bit behind me uh, for some of the new weapons. This time we're going to be looking at the Shard Diffractor, this is Engineer's new weapon, which has been recently changed. One of its overclocks has actually just disappeared from the game, it used to have six, now it has five. Uh, that overclock has been worked into a base mechanic for the gun, which I think is better. Uh, before, when you were firing this weapon, you had to fire out the entire magazine all at once and then wait for it to recharge or to pickaxe cancel it or animation cancel it in some way by switching weapons. This could also screw up your dashes because you couldn't dash cancel out of it like you can with the minigun or with the auto cannon. And now you don't have to worry about doing all those things because it just fires like a regular gun now. You can fire it normally and release the trigger and it will stop firing. So that was a really good change that they made. <laughs> that was an overclock that did that, um, which... Thankfully, that's not how the gun works anymore. Of course, all these overclocks and the weapons itself could change dramatically over the next couple weeks or months because uh, this is still from the experimental build. This isn't even live yet uh, as of recording this video, so I don't know how much is going to make it to the live. Hopefully, the sound bug gets fixed with this weapon because for whatever reason, if you're standing anywhere near Engineer, it is extremely loud unless you are the Engineer and then it sounds like a normal gun. Um, I think that's just a bug. Hopefully that's not a feature. Uh, <laughs> I really hope it's not a feature. Let's talk about each of the overclocks. Right now the Shard Diffractor has one single clean overclock, and that is called Efficiency Tweaks. What this overclock does is give you a slight bit more ammo overall, which is always nice, and it gives you a fast recharge time. The recharge time is very noticeable. Um, if you take this, plus I think it's either the Tier 3 or Tier 4 mod that lets you have a faster recharge, you can recharge your weapon in like... 0.4 seconds or something crazy like that. So even if you fire out the entire weapon, it's going to be back almost instantly. This is the only one, this is the only overclock that lets you pretty much tap fire the gun. You can just keep tapping it and keep firing it. Everything else, if you try to do that, it'll fire. And you gotta wait a second, then you can fire again uh, because it does take time to recharge. This one doesn't really take that much time to recharge at all. And when I was trying out this overclock, it was really good. If you like the base shard diffractor, I think this one's going to be really solid. It's like a lot of clean overclocks. Nothing super fancy, it's just good. Then we move on to the balanced overclocks, which we have three of. The very first one that I'm going to be talking about is called Volatile Impact Reactor. What this one does is lets you set fire on the ground, or magma on the ground. This will then deal damage over time to any enemy that crosses over it, as well as it has a very high buildup of heat. So this will uh, light enemies on fire very fast. It is important to note for this one currently, if you're just shooting something, it won't just apply the magma to it or won't spit magma out on other enemies. This is only if you're hitting the ground. So this is pretty useful for crowd control, I found. You can clear up basic hordes really fast with it. Uh, it's very similar to having like the flamethrower or the ground fire from the flamethrower uh, with a weapon that has essentially infinite range. And otherwise you just have a laser pointer that can kill things very, very fast. So this one seemed pretty good. It seemed really great for taking out like swarmers or regular grunts or putting it on non-mobile targets like the Nexus or the Spitballers. I found all of that to be pretty useful. The downsides to this one, at least from the overclock, is it reduces your maximum AOE. The Shard Diffractor does have pretty decent AOE, and this is a fairly noticeable nerf, at least as of right now. Again, things could change a lot. Um, and we also reduce our maximum mag size, so we can't fire the gun as long. I don't really think that's much of a debuff to this weapon. Usually you have enough to kill whatever big thing you're trying to hit anyway. If you don't, then potentially the magma will do the damage afterwards. Um, and it'll definitely work for any of the small enemies like swarmers or just basic grunts. There is also one other current debuff to this weapon, which is a debuff to you and your team. And that is when you start firing it all over the place, it causes everybody's frames to lag very bad. Everybody gets frame drops. I assume that this is related to the engine and what the engine is capable of doing. <laughs> And that's what's causing it to lag, so I hope that this gets changed before it goes to the live server, because otherwise that could be very annoying for pretty much everybody involved, especially if you have multiple people using this. Uh, we did have, I think, two people when I was streaming last time using this at the same time, and it really lagged everybody's frames when there was a bunch of magma on the ground. Not sure if it's just the particle effects, or if it just has to render in so many little uh, dots and stuff that it just counts as multiple objects being there. Uh, maybe it works similar to how the like cryo minelets or the electro minelets works where it counts as each projectile being put down that could cause it i'm not sure but hopefully that does get fixed it might just be easier to set this thing to like ground fire 
rather than have the, the magma effect on it. Our second balanced overclock is called Overdrive Booster. This one gives you more damage once you engage the booster, but once you engage the booster, you have a slower recharge rate um, after you have emptied out the magazine or after you've turned off the overcharger. Uh, you also cannot move while you're using the overcharger. This one feels really strong. This one feels incredibly strong on like Dreadnought missions. Um, to activate this, you use it the same way that you use like Snowball or Ice Spear. You just push R and then you are pretty much locked in place and you can fire it. Although unlike Leadstorm with the minigun, you can easily get out of this. You can just pickaxe cancel it. You can cancel it with, by pushing R again. You can dash cancel out of it. So there's plenty of ways to cancel this and just move normally, which is pretty nice. A lot of the times you're just going to be sitting in place when you're trying to kill things like a Praetorian Oppressor. Uh, dreadnought whatever it might be with this one and this one feels really strong it's probably one of my favorites at the moment it feels very similar to lead storm for the minigun so if you like that one you'll probably like this and this is on your secondary so you still have your primary weapon to deal with most other enemies so i i think that this one's going to be super popular when it comes out and uh, we'll have to see how quickly you can kill like dreads with it it seemed incredibly fast when we were doing it in multiplayer and had like ifg grenades on the enemies and then our third and final balanced overclock is called feedback loop sorry i have all these written down so i don't forget the names of them because nobody has them up on any other sites right now this causes a bigger aoe build up over the course of your shot so the longer you hold down your gun, the bigger the AOE gets. I'm not sure if it just continually gets bigger um, just based on the magazine size or if it hits a certain like soft cap or a limit to where it's no longer really building up any more AOE. Uh, this comes at the cost of maximum ammo, which usually isn't that great of a thing, but the extra AOE that you get from this is very noticeable. It's really easy to just to hold this on a Praetorian and kill the entire wave around it just because it irradiates so much heat. Usually when I was doing this, I was running the heat build too. So I wasn't running, I think it's armor breaking in that tier, uh, where you can either have armor breaking or something like 400% more like heat buildup, and the heat buildup builds up incredibly fast. It's really strong against robots. It also works as it irradiates heat out to everything else, so you're burning everything, you're dealing extra AoE to everything, and it seemed to just clear up swarms super fast, so this one seemed really good too. And then we move on to our unstable overclock, which we have one of. And this is called uh, Endothermic react Refractor. Sorry, I wanted to say Reactor. This is a Refractor. This one's... <laughs> Currently, this one is pretty much just for the memes. It is incredibly difficult to use as an actual weapon. It's very fun to use, but it's incredibly difficult to use. What this one does is let you bounce your shots off of your platforms. This doesn't work on any sort of other surface besides the engineer's platforms. You can use other engineer's platforms to do this, though. So you can get these to bounce, and they can bounce up to twice. Uh, when they do bounce, they get extra damage as well as they have a larger AoE. Um, I think it actually doubles the damage and doubles the AoE, which seems like a pretty good buff if you can just bounce it off and then hit an enemy. The problem is, is that these are not seeking beams or anything. You have to manually fire them. You do have a little bit of a marker that shows you where the beam will likely go but keep in mind the gun still has recoil so whenever you're using it it kind of goes all over the place especially if you're trying to shoot it on the corner of one of your platforms there is some ways to get this to work you can make yourself like a murder hole where you have driller just drill you a straight hole back and then you put platforms on the ceiling and on the floor and just have it bounce up and down through there and then yeah it can work in that specific circumstance so if you're really into bunker strategies it could work. I also think that it could probably work very well on like the escort missions because I know that the shard diffractor already rips through the rocks in, in stage two very fast. So you could break them even quicker, but it, you would have to build a area for you to do this, uh, which would be doable on that one. For regular combat and running around, it's practically useless to try to be using this to actually kill other enemies. It's far more efficient to just aim at them directly and shoot them. Uh, this does come with the downside of a slower charge rate, and that is pretty noticeable if you fire this just a little bit at a time and then let go. It does take a little while to build back up. The downside is honestly not that big a deal, considering the upside can potentially be good. But, I, I mean, currently right now it's pretty much just for the memes, and you're probably never going to use it actively throughout a mission where you're running all the where you're running all around. If it could bounce off other terrains, then it would be really strong. Uh, or could be very strong, but for right now, it's just, yeah, it's probably the weakest of the overclocks. So that'll do it for the Shard Diffractor overclocks as of right now. Again, keep in mind, this is from the experimental build. 
everything's still getting changed everything will probably get changed once this goes live thanks for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and special thanks to the supporters of this channel these are my members over here on youtube and my patrons over on patreon they get early access to videos like this and if you'd like to be a part of it you can there are links down in the description thanks everybody who does that it really helps out the channel a lot i'll talk to you guys next time till then stay cool bye bye